Hello, everybody. We are here. It's Friday, and we're going to be playing some Wolfenstein Young Blood, but we're going to be playing on the GT76 Titan laptop from MSI. Um, it's a beast, a very powerful laptop. Some say might be a replacement for a desktop. So, of course, naturally, we got to slap a game on it. Oh, yeah. And check it out. What better to play than the most recently released entry <laughs> in the Wolfenstein series, Wolfenstein Youngblood? Uh, I'm actually a really big fan of the series and I'm excited to, to play this game more. I got a chance to do a little bit of it earlier, but. I'm I'm stoked to play some of it here for you guys. Exactly. So we're gonna actually start a, a new game. Yeah, fresh. Fresh, fresh from game. the start, uh, and we're going to just kind of go on a wonderful journey. We're not gonna join a game, actually. That's that's a <laughs> you lot. You have no friends. That was so sad. It's it true. Like, <laughs> you have no friends. Uh, see, let's change this so that we can just not be public. Just do one of these. Like solo game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the co-op feature, no is that something that's, you know, yeah. a new addition to the series? Yeah, so you get to play as uh, BJ Blazkowicz's two uh, twin daughters, who we're going to be introduced to here in this intro cutscene. Noise. Uh, who are every bit as great at uh, do, putting a good murder on a bunch of Nazis as uh, <laughs> BJ is. Runs in the family. It really does. Take your head off, Ew. Jess. Come on now. So we've got an interesting setup here. Uh, BJ's training one of uh, the daughters how to how to do some hunting. No oh, idea nice. what it's doing in these parts. Must have strayed from the flock. Five more. Looks scared. Yeah. Driven off by the storms, I reckon. Storms coming in. I don't know about this. Can I take the shot? Uh uh. It's really pretty. Yeah. Uh, I really kind of like the, the design of a lot of the, the the new new Wolfenstein stuff too. Mm -hmm. As a complete Sleeping package, it's a really cool deal. But Awareness and narrow big fan. Pin. You make sure while you're stalking that bighorn, you're still watching out for what's stalking you, baby. Good. Good. All right. All right, tell me what you're sensing. It's gonna rain soon. Good. What else? Uh, I don't know. There's a there's a band of coyotes about a hundred yards northeast of here. Five more Zofia, kick. Kick! So we're also kind of getting introduced to the, the keep your hands the up. Kind of, I Again. guess, demeanor of no, both no of the, the two sisters. Right. One's more uh, brash and kind of wants to just get in and mess stuff up, and the other one's kind of more Die cool and calculating. Mm -hmm. uh, you will face it, but they're being ruthlessly trained by their parents. <laughs> I know. Uh, which is being very apparent right now. Definitely drastic, you know, changes in how they're being trained also. To survive is to embrace the suffering. To stand up uh, but and I mean, the stuff it. that they've been through and stuff that they've seen, it, it makes sense. Okay. The tough more. love aspect. Hey, language, Sofia. <laughs> the, the anger. Yeah. <laughs> the, the pure, the raw energy. That was yeah. going to happen eventually. I felt it myself. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah, this is stressful. Are so this leaving? moment's wild. Uh, BJ is like, oh, what else do you sense? And she's like, mm, I don't know. And of course, for some reason, BJ could sense a snake on the other side. <laughs> because of course he can. Come on now, take your shot before the rains come. Nice. The well-timed shot with the transition. Yeah, I liked that. <laughs> you guys hungry? Oh, well, she got it. We got dinner. Yeah. Soup's on. Success. You. Well done. Y'all all right here? Wow. 
Wow, good for you, Kenneth. I was beginning to think you lacked that killer instinct. Screw you, Arthur. Ah, uh, uh, girls, you be nice to each other. Well, come on. <laughs> what? It's a compliment. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, so any of these moments with the, the two daughters in them are, are kind of the, one of the high points of this game so far for me and what I have played. And just any interaction they have is just... It's kind of over the top and, and crazy in a way that still kind of makes sense. <laughs> um, Get out of the rain. It's a very good contrast to, to BJ's character in the other two Wolfenstein games, mm -hmm. which is kind of more like self-reflective. He kind of has like a monologue that runs inside of him all the time. But they're, they're like yelling and, and just running around and being really loud, <laughs> uh, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of a... A neat way to add more different personalities and stuff like that, but still keep them tied into like, yeah, the yeah. original characters. We have a little bit of a, a flash forward here to when they're in uh, France. Oh boy. So you girls are sisters. So suits. Twin yeah. sisters. Mm -hmm. Daughters of the famous Captain Blaskovich himself. So for Abby here, Some she's surgery happening over a casual conversation. <laughs> we know he was here, ma'am. He gave me it's a pretty common. If you haven't seen any doctor shows, they do it all the time. It's true. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Yes. Mm. Might have been too much surgery. I know. Oh. There we oh. go. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, an abdomen. We're still there. And we're back. We just got <laughs> so caught up in the story <laughs> that it just. That needs antibiotics. Oh, the surgery became too graphic. We had to. We had to <laughs> save you guys from seeing the things that you were about to see. Will you help us find him? Juju. Wearing power suits. Yep. We don't have anything like this here. Man, cutscenes have gotten so good that sometimes you forget you're watching a game and not, like, yeah. not a movie. <laughs> like voice acting, animation, <laughs> all of it's come up. We were such a long way. <laughs> Born to kill Nazis. I mean, they're not lying, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm being honest. <laughs> they don't need to know that. Very well, then. I may have an assignment suitable for two Nazi killers such as yourselves. So we're, uh, After the, the kind of setup for what's happening is uh, the they're most. both taking it upon themselves to go into still Nazi-occupied France <laughs> still. Uh, to go and try to rescue their dad who's gone missing. And the last known area he was in is uh, is France. But we're getting this weird like flash-forward mission on a, on a Nazi blimp first to kind of like break us into it. Right. They gotta show off how badass they are. So that's just it. it. <laughs> they they talk a mean game, and we're about to see in this cutscene how they're, they're like, oh, we were born to kill Nazis. We've been training for this. Uh, but they're like, oh, shoot, it's our first Nazi. What do we got? <laughs> so we got to take him out. And I love this here. moment a lot. Because she's, she's like, oh. she's aiming, but she, she doesn't look. <laughs> Shut up, I am. <laughs> it kind of adds yeah. some, like, you, should try to, you know. Try to get up close. Humanity Calm to down it. There. Yeah, because, yeah. like, they're, nice. they're, they're, they're excited to save their dad, and they know they're prepared for it, but, like, I, it makes you kind of, like, stop and take a pause for a second and be like, oh, you're actually oh, killing a person? Yeah, exactly. You could have, like, yeah. Um, makes it feel a little more real when you actually have to do it. Yeah. But it's alright though, because as soon as they get this guy done and out of the way, they don't second guess it ever again. <laughs> they had the taste of blood, now no return. Exactly. Literally, they'll have a taste of blood here in a second. Oh. You got the cool 80s uh, style soundtrack going on. Kind of a big one! gave away your position. Oh, dang. She starts like yelling and cheering, and then she throws up because she realizes what she did and then goes right back into cheering. That was oh, awesome. I love it so much. Yes, I do too. Oh my god. Oh yeah, my god, now I it's your turn to throw up. She's like, I've got oh brains god. in my mouth. No, this is actually great. Yeah, no, they're fantastic. Yeah. I, I love these two characters so much, and they, they work so well. And now they're just what like staring at the body, like, oh man. 
What have we, we done? <laughs> we can find him. Are you kidding me? We got this shit, sis. Fucking A. <laughs> All right, so here we are. <laughs> what a great way to like start Hitler. the game. Yeah, and we, do we don't have to grab all these these computers, General but uh, I feel like I've grown more of an attachment, right? Like I grew with them. Yeah, there's there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of good kind of just building that happens along the way, and we get this this first uh, character that we get to do a stealth assassination on. Oh yeah. So the loadout that I picked to start off with, you can kind of build it out from the beginning. Okay. Is I've got a uh, a machine pistol. And I also nice. have the axe, which is kind of more of a, a Wolfenstein 2 uh, New Colossus loadout. Oh, okay. So you kind of like do that kind of thing. Uh, and you a bit, get to pick which sister you play as, right? Yeah. So I played as Jess on my original one, so mm. I made my second uh, profile uh, playing as the other sister. So gotcha. I get to kind of hear more of that stuff. You, you get to yes. throw up some, some double horns if you want to give your, your partner some, uh, some armor. I think they have the the health boosts. Uh, grabbing grabbing ammo and stuff is always uh, an important thing to do. You've got shared lives. That's how they kind of juggle the like, co-op stuff. So if you go over here and open one of these containers, it'll add one, which you can see on the the right side. To be honest, I feel like you know I have an undying like need for co-op games all the time. <laughs> I feel like I want more co-op games, and this is already pretty awesome. Yeah, it's uh, most of the time I've been playing has been with uh, I've been playing a bit with with John Luke. I played a bit with uh, Michael. I'm having yes. a, a good time with it. This is I'm trying to do a bit of stealth, but it's definitely not going to go well. We'll see how far we can get in. <laughs> this guy well, completely oblivious. Yeah. Uh <laughs> he got a shot off. That's so. that video game magic. So now we're now we're in it. Excuse me. Dang! So I they, felt that punch. Yeah, they do, they do a bit of fighting back. So the first things first, we gotta find. Oh god, there are a lot in that room. We gotta find a uh, a disc with a key on it so we can get through one of these doors. So we got it. We got it marked over here. It'll tell us there's a keypad. So we just gotta find the uh, the code. The code to get in, and then it's it's marking it back over here for us. Cause this, this is just kind of the tutorial one. Mm -hmm. Getting the toes, toes wet. So you take it to a, a computer to go and crack it. So there's 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 layers to to kind of how you gotta work your way through it. Uh, decode. Find out that the code is eight four three one. All right, eight four three one. Don't forget it. Eight four three one. Some stuff in here. You're looting too before you forget this. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> eight four three one. I, I actually think they do a good job with this too. I, I think it's going to show it at the top. Yeah, so it shows it on oh, the thing if you've oh, gotten nice, it. Nice. So if you want to okay. not have to think too much, which is a thing I'm a big fan of, <laughs> you could just have the game tell you what the code is. <laughs> totally. Yeah, that's fair. And we find out the store is locked, so we got to go over here. Grab some of this. Could do a little bit of a sneak yeah. thing. Sneaky, sneaky. Goob says, is Ben using a touchpad on the laptop? Uh, I wish <laughs> that I could say I was good enough uh, to be using one, but no, I'm, I'm using <laughs> mouse. Yes, This is a, a regular, like, kind of cheap mouse. It's not my, my usual thing, but yeah. it, it's getting the job done. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Chad. I was just so into the game so far in the cutscenes. I'm actually really, really enjoying it so far. It's like... I don't think I've seen much of the other Wolfensteins except for like the super old, yeah, like yeah. original ones and, you know, but who hasn't seen those at some point in their life? But the, how far it's come is always really, you know, satisfying to see, personally. Yeah, I, 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 I've been seeing it like almost the whole stream, like I I ah. love the, uh, the remakes. They did such a good job, like, like... BJ Blazkowicz used to be like the poster child for like, ah, nondescript, just regular dude that you play in a game. And they're like, but what if we gave him character and a personality and feelings? And now the, the new BJ is like one of the, probably one of my favorite game characters in recent memory. Nice. They did a good job building him out. Come here, you. 
Yeah, and there's just, you know, a lot of Wolfenstein games in general. I was like looking over some wiki facts and there oh, are a lot the, of different versions. Hot facts? Yeah. Them sweet, sweet facts. Might try to quiz you guys in the chat and quiz Ben here. Heck yeah. At some point during the stream. Uh, so people might have noticed that I just leveled up. Uh, there are leveled RPG up. elements in this video game. So if you nice. go, uh, I can, this is a good time to do it, I guess. We're in the yeah. middle of fighting someone, so I probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh, um, it doesn't, like, pause it? Pause yeah, so you it. can't pause because it's, uh, it's a ah. online co-op. Oh, yeah, co-op, co -op, technically. Um, makes sense. But as soon as we clear this out, we'll be able to check it out. See if I can, I can get, like, a, an item or something. Level up, do a thing. Mess with the gun. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. All right. So then you can actually go into uh, your character. You, you can level up a whole bunch of stuff you've oh, got. Nice. Kind of like simple skill trees, not anything too crazy. Yeah. But it's well, like, ah, oh, increase your health, that kind of thing. Um, dual wield is a good one. I might actually just wait till I get enough for that. Uh, and I actually took the crush power at the beginning. You can either do invisibility or strength. Mm, okay. And I just really like the crush ability <laughs> a lot. Uh, it lets you do the... I think it's called the ramshackles, where you can kind of like run through walls into. Uh, you can do that in this. You got a whole bunch of different skins you can kind of customize your character with to kind of stand out a bit. Uh, I'll switch it up just to do it. Why not? Why not? Different helmets. <laughs> uh, cool. Which kind of go on and off during regular stuff. And you've got all these different pep symbols that we were talking about before. The one that I have now, you throw up devil horns and you give 25 armor to you and your, your teammate. You got all sorts of stuff, like you can kind of like rally them, you get into like a fighting stance. If you crack your knuckles, you can half your damage for 10 seconds. Uh, just kind of cool, wow. dumb stuff like that. And it's fantastic. You do the robot, yeah, get that's all pretty your armor awesome. back. <laughs> we, I'm not going to pick that one because I don't want to use it too much as a crutch, but it's really cool and I like that you can make them do the robot. Um, I think that's awesome. Yeah. Like quirky little aspects like that. Uh, and then the other Pretty thing cool. is you get these this currency up here. You spend mm. on uh, like upgrading parts for your guns. So I'd be like, oh man, I really like the machine pistol. What if I gave it a different magazine type or <laughs> something like that? Just kind of kit out your stuff. Right. Uh, and you get bonus damage for using like certain brands. So you got to make sure your brands are on point. Um, nice, nice. Yeah, it's a good time. Cool. How does the game feel so far on laptop compared to the PC? Because I know you're playing on like a, a desktop. Yeah, I was gonna say, so I'm, I I have like a laptop, but it's from like, I don't know, like 1998 or something. So it's like completely <laughs> useless. Um, and I play on a desktop most of the time. So I'm still kind of like in that mode where I'll, I'll be playing something like, oh, I'm playing the new Wolfenstein game on a laptop. On a laptop. Uh, kind of in a similar way that I'd be playing it on a desktop. But it's it's running, and we've got everything cranked up all the way, too. It's it's on the it's a Mein Lieben for the, uh, the graphic settings. So it looks really good. Yeah. It's running really well. Um, I mean, like we mentioned yeah. before, this laptop is a beast. It yes. has two power cables. It, it it's has like, two power yeah, cords. That's how powerful it is. And it has two power cables. It's pretty cool. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise, ax to the chest. I feel like I'd be more surprised if someone like axed me like that. You right? Know? <laughs> I'd probably make more noise or like a more shocked face and like a, like, oh, oh <laughs> guess I'll die then. Uh, <laughs> Especially in there, like, you have a gun in your hand, you have, like, this crazy metal suit, but not the axe. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise me. <laughs> it's about how I'd make a, a more surprised face, and I didn't even do it. But uh, I'm going to be honest. Sneaking is, like, a good suggestion in Wolfenstein. Mm -hmm. It's definitely more about the, like... Yeah, because the first few were, like, stealth games, right? They were kind of... I, I always kind of picture them more as like a, like it's it's kind of like a Metal Gear thing where they're like ah yeah. oh, tactical espionage action. And I'm mm -hmm. like I'm about being that snake that kind of sneaks and then eventually just running gun, just running. Yeah. <laughs> like Snake has always been an action hero to me. BJ is uh, an action hero to me. Uh, but stealth is a good kind of option to just throw in. I don't have grenades yet, and that is a thing I'm realizing. Uh oh. But yeah, you guys, if you don't know, you know, 
all the other cool deets of Wolfenstein. Uh, Matthew in the chat actually brought up a great point. Watch the history of Wolfenstein that John Luke did a while back. It's great. There you go. Yeah, go check that out, you guys. Probably will end up definitely checking that out myself. Now that I've seen more of this, it makes me more interested in playing some of the other versions. Yeah, I, I can't recommend the the rebooted Wolfenstein series enough. <laughs> uh, fantastic, really well put together games. Great story, great characters. Yeah. Good awesome. times. I think we've got almost everyone cleared out here. Sweet. These Nazis don't stand a chance. No, they don't. <laughs> they thought they were prepared, but they weren't. You get to do all sorts of co-op things, like co-op opening doors. And, oh, I forgot. We got to do cool jumps. Oh, the developer console is alive and well, if anyone wants to know about that. <laughs> so I accidentally hit the tilde key again. All right, so I think this is the room where we actually get the throwing. Yeah. So this is a, a, a vital tool for doing stealth stuff. Uh, in that you just get to throw things. <laughs> it's like, ah, right, nice. in the, right in the foot. Yep, insta-kill. Didn't even see it coming. <laughs> Got the flashlight out because I know that we're already getting to the, the part where... Like, the second room in here is completely pitch, pitch black. Mm, I see. With some cool platforming puzzles going on. I can run into that and break it. There we go. Some, some cool pickups. Some prizes. Some loot. Uh, oh, I gotta go up further. There we go. Yeah, it is dark. Yeah, they're, they're already starting to, to get you into it. They're jump I feel like you jump up so and there's like someone there, out. yeah. <laughs> You're not too far off. So this guy comes out. Mm. Well, hold on, I've got a machine pistol. Why am oh, I yeah. why am I doing this? Oh Yuck, I kinda of like the effects of like you get hit by something or something explodes, you're actually yeah, like falling down. down. But you can still shoot. Uh, but if you've been playing a while and you think that it's kinda of like a, a hassle, there's an upgrade to it you can get that makes it so you, you don't get knocked down. Oh nice, nice. nice. Uh, but yeah, I I also kind of appreciate that. There's a, a little bit of extra weight to kind of what you're doing here. Aquarius asked, what year is is this game set in? Uh, it's set in like the early 80s. So that's actually an interesting thing to bring up because uh, people might have heard them say right at the beginning of this mission that uh, BJ killed Hitler. And <laughs> He hasn't done that in the other games yet, and it's kind of like a, an interesting point to kind of speculate that Wolfenstein 3 might take place before this, and we get to actually play through that part. Oh, interesting. Um, but yeah, this is set in the uh, the early 80s, which is why we hear some, like, synthy pop music happening sometimes. I see, I see. Uh, they still have, like, the, the cool, like, German covers of popular songs from whatever eras. Oh, cool. Um, which is a thing that I, I really appreciate that they did, too. He said, aren't you embarrassed getting slaughtered by these teenage girls? Are they teens? Yeah. That's even more hilarious. Uh -oh. But awesome. Got a big boy over here. Oui. Oh, yeah. I probably big. put away my flashlight, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Just blind them. You'll be fine. This guy. Some, some Apex Legends action. I know, like I was just there. about to say, let's get both the sisters as DLC. Heck yeah. <laughs> in Apex. Heck yeah, that'd be awesome. We got like an arcade in the back here. Nice. This guy's not letting me enjoy it at all. <laughs> He's on a mission. You're the it's invader. Like, you're, I'm trying to get my high scores in here. And you guys old Tetris. Are, are oh yeah, they got the, the uh, <laughs> German Tetris. That's awesome. Aw, oh, Jess, what are you doing? <laughs> Jess is hurt. Oh, it's the big guy. Oh. Alright, oh we're gonna gosh. circle around. Yeah, yeah. Take him to the dance floor real quick. Yeah. Take him out with your killer moves. Yes. <laughs> oh no! Jess, no! Jess, get up! I'll just... I got this. It's fine. This is fine. Get a little back rub. Yeah, and then so that's we're good. Uh, that's kind of how the the life system works. I totally did it on purpose. 
Just to just show it off. Thank you, Jess. We got robot butlers over here. Um, so now we have one of our lives spent. But, uh, gosh, she's down again. Oh, come on, Jess. Get your head in the game. <laughs> oh, dang. Get up here. Oh, That's dang. still that. <laughs> the developer console's definitely there. Yeah, I know. I, I hear you. Ah. Jess, I swear, if you make us wipe on this. I know. Jess, please. No. All right, I'm going to get over here. Uh, I'm going to grab this guy's gun. I'm going to shoot him in the stomach. Nice. I'm going to get over here. <laughs> Stab him real quick. Ooh. All right. All right, she's over here. We're fine. The big guy's still running around. Everything will be okay. Let's just yeah, do one of these. <laughs> do one of these. Hello? Oh, there he is. Squid. What is even happening? Yeah, he was cre creeping. Oh man, they're they're trying to call strats on you guys. Yeah, yeah. He said I got the flank. We got, it. We got machine guns. We got shotguns. I've got a whole bunch of weapons I didn't realize I even picked up. <laughs> yeah, these robotic like table dealers. I keep thinking they're enemies. There, there's a little part of me that also has been like, <laughs> like I know they're there. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still kind of like, like I just did it there. I was like, oh, that's the guy. And it's not the guy. <laughs> Jess. Dang man. it, Jess. What are you doing? Jess, please. Jess, I swear. You are dying. <laughs> Call Come for help. <laughs> out here and get me back up. <laughs> Press space, you guys. Call him for help. There we go. There we go. Okay. Jeez, Jess. Jess, what are you? They're, they're twins, but who's the oldest? That's the that's the question. <laughs> maybe maybe I will use the robot dance one just because. Yeah, we need to get all that armor back. Let's see. You're killing it, man. Killing it. I don't have my assault rifle yet. What if I, what if I just pushed the plot forward? What if just I just ran past him? What if I just didn't fight the angry man? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, he's almost dead. Just, oh, you got this. Yeah. In. Easy, easy. I totally, totally made him be like, oh no, they opened our door. He came back to check on it, and that's what did him in. Distraction. This guy. Shotgun's a good gun. How are you holding uh, up? Uh, Chat asked, is this early access or did the actual game release? The actual game's out. The actual game is out, uh, my friend. Today is the release day for everything, but I believe it was actually out on PC yesterday officially. Right, because I know John Luke and David played a little bit on yeah. the show yesterday, some of the side mission stuff. Um, we're doing main story goodness for you guys today uh so yeah so we're coming up on a, a boss fight here which is gonna oh, be real snap. fun snap well right before we get to that action if you guys are just tuning in to today's stream of wolfenstein young blood um our stream today is actually sponsored by msi and we're playing on the GT76 Titan laptop, which is powered by 9th gen Intel Core i9 desktop CPU, and is running the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 graphics card. It also features a 4K panel, the CPU handles a stable overclock up to five gigahertz, and all threads can help multitasking without a hitch. It features a great cooling system, all with an exotic car-inspired design, and MSI is giving away a copy of Wolfenstein and Control with the purchase of the GT76 or any other MSI laptop featuring the NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card. So if you want more information on that, just check out the description or pinned comment below um, to get a hold of that. Not bad. Get a laptop and some games. So they're giving out Wolfenstein and Control. Control is another game I'm very excited for. Heck yeah. It's made by uh, the Remedy people who gave us Max Payne and Alan Wake. 
also fantastic games like This Man's Invisible. I highly recommend. Yeah, so that's a pretty good perk for getting a laptop. Like, give you a game that's going to be beautiful on this laptop as well. Let's got health up here. Where is Jess? She's, oh, there she's she right is. behind me. <laughs> she has that helmet on now, so now I keep mistaking her for an what enemy. Flipping. Did you see this man Spider Man on the wall? <laughs> Yeah, Just doing it again. Freaky powers. Freaky powers. Oh dang, he keeps disappearing. Yeah, he uh he's got those cool invisible powers. These Nazis are getting out of control. <laughs> you can see him, that's amazing. I'm looking yeah, like at the big screen, I can't see him at all. There's there's little bits like the, the smoke effects and stuff kind of don't show through the, the camouflage. It's pretty cool. Aw, oh, Jess, what are you doing? Hello? Where'd you where'd you go? What's up, so chilled? And crime, of course. Some more returning familiar faces Heck in the yeah. chat. And shout out to everyone just tuning in for the first time. We're playing some Wolfenstein, Young Blood. Uh, facing this crazy Spider-Man invisible ghost guy. He's got laser <laughs> beams, he can turn invisible. Technology's gone too far. I know. And this is supposed to be the 80s. When we got the ads popped in in the back. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Plus 2% permanent damage. That's what I'm talking about. This gonna be real useful coming up. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's in the room again. Oh, no. This guy. Yeah, we see you, bud. Ooh, give me that. Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Oops. <laughs> Don't shoot your sister. He doesn't see you. Oh, yeah, he's just fast. Spun, just jumped away. <laughs> so right there, we're almost through his armor. Ah. Yeah, once the armor is done, it's going to be easy. Jess, dodge, woman. Jess is having a rough time today. <laughs> she's she's kind of not feeling it. Jess, I swear. <laughs> I can't Jess. take you anywhere. <laughs> not even on the Nazi blimp. <sighs> Hello? He Hello? Uh, where'd he go? My d oh, we're taking the battle out here oh, now? Oh, snap. Make it real dramatic. Definitely. He wanted a change of scenery. Oh, he's almost done for. Finish him! Get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right into the... Yes, do it. Do it! Yeah! Chop him up! He's not going to be in the sequel. <laughs> he's gone for good. <laughs> Bob Jones says Jess needs a vacation. She really does. <laughs> It doesn't matter, you're gonna have to try. You gotta jump off of yeah. there. <laughs> it's like if you don't, you wouldn't have either way, so you gotta go for it. Yeah, and then we got that that title screen Boom! after all of that. After all of that title screen. That's uh, pretty epic. We're gonna get some, some more kind of like uh flashback kind of establishing what was going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we'll get into like the meat of the game where it's kind of more of an open world structure, which is kind of cool, but nice for now story time. Oh snap, Mirka. Uh, so this is uh, the daughter of the leader from uh, New Colossus, who is now the head of the FBI. Interesting. Uh, which is fantastic. It's really cool to see all the characters kind of coming back, too. Heck yeah. Goop says he's definitely gonna have to finish Colossus now. It sounds like it now yeah. that you're explaining some of the some of Colossus and how it's playing into this one. It's they, they all are very, very closely hey. tied together for sure. What's that, Abby? A listening device. Looks like oh, this looks so good. I can't get over it. Yeah. It's like a like a 
an You're animated movie. You haven't read the Covert Adventures. I would watch a Wolfenstein movie. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there not a Wolfenstein movie? <laughs> Even if it's made exactly like this, I no definitely 100% So Arthur and Kenneth are so. So I gotta say too, with as much as I do love the new Wolfenstein reboots, uh, the one thing that I kind of miss uh, from the older games that they kind of left to the side, it was in one of the the spinoff games, is kind of like the supernatural stuff. Mm. So Wolfenstein's also like, but what if we turn things into zombies and there were ghosts? And, I and <laughs> there isn't like any of that in this got... kind I of see. a side series as much. A bit in, well, in Old Blood, I think it was, but yeah. But he left the country under a false identity about four weeks ago. But after that, the trail went cold. Anya. So the uh, the kids are eavesdropping on their parents talking about how BJ's gone missing, and they don't know what to do to find him. So naturally, the so kids, the kids are, are like... going to be like, the like, parents don't understand. <laughs> Let's put on our suits and go and find our dad. Duh. Sometimes he doesn't talk for a day. Just like in asylum, you know how he is. Always oh, brooding. Smoking in the house. Yeah. Definitely the 80s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like unheard of now. Also, just taking, shooting back place. shots of vodka. It, like, <laughs> this is probably like, I don't know. Girls. I'm going to say in my mind it's 10 a.m. You are the head of the FBI. <laughs> Isn't there anything you can do? Trust me, if there oh, wasn't man. anything any of the agencies could do, girl, you know I would be all over that shit. You know what the bottom line is? He doesn't want to be found, Anya. And if BJ fucking Blaskowitz doesn't want to be found, there is nothing and no one on God's green earth that's gonna find his ass. Except for I those mean, teens. Yeah, I'm like, but. And they're, they're power suits. Yes. He's got a family. Yeah, it's fucked. Screw this. Heavy use for curse words. Curse words. No one yeah. ever does anything. That's how you know it's skin. We got to do something. <laughs> we got that raw, <laughs> unfiltered <laughs> emotion. Look, Jess. I know that asshole. I'm thinking out loud. I'm getting something from upstairs. But there's nothing upstairs. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Except for our dad's wow. crazy <laughs> Nazi killing None of memorial. You knew this was here. Negative. That has been hidden behind one box, covering a hole in the wall. For their though. whole lives. <laughs> I love that. Also, I, I you do gotta suspend your disbelief a bit while you're playing these games. Because the, the way that they get Check the clue out. for where that their dad is, they walk up to this this board this? with all these 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 connecting threads, and they pull one picture off, and they're like, "Code name Blackbird, Paris, <laughs> this is it. Blackbird, there you Paris." Go. That's, That's it. We've got to go to Paris. <laughs> Let's pick this one clue that we picked you know, up in an instant there, and go off of it. Shit. Well, I guess it's just up to us then. But I'm here for it either way. Oh, right. What? They just wanted a quick, easy way to, to get I to the next part of this, yeah. which is totally fine. This sticky wicket. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> After a bunch of nerds. I know. And I love that's it. why it's so great. You guys are weird. <laughs> you guys are weird. Yeah. Called it. Also, oh, the, the, the transition with the, the glasses so fix great. to them stealing an FBI helicopter. You're uh, breaking up. I genuinely like enjoy this as just like entertainment. They're so dorky. Hey, you guys just stole an FBI helicopter. Oh, oh snap. And we got them suits. Yeah, here's where it gets real. Where'd you get these power suits? Made them. All the Nazi generals have these nowadays, so you will need it. Holy fucking shit. Those are so Pretty cool. Awesome, hey, cosplayers, get to work. I want to see these yeah. IRL. <laughs> I have more things I'm working on in the cargo hold. No wonder Grace wants you to join her advanced research division. Maybe she'll send you to Juvie instead. It sounded pretty mad you stole a ride. You think she cares for her mother thanks? I don't care what anyone thinks. Hell yeah. That's how I adjust my glasses too from the side. <laughs> it's, it's, either, it's either that or it's the, the like anime yeah. one where you push up in the middle. <laughs> Big fan of that one. And then we, we flashed uh, forward, backward, back to when we got into this room where they were doing surgery mm -hmm. to see how we got here. 
Yeah, I like the green suit. The blue one's cool too. They're both so cool. The uh, the one that I, I was using in my main one is uh, it's like a all yellow and it's got some of the decals that PJ has work? in his jacket from oh, two. Oh, nice. So I was like, oh yeah, this is good. Uh, but there's supposed to be a Doom one. I haven't have it, had it pop up yet, and I want to have my Doom stuff <laughs> in Wolfenstein so I can Doom while I Wolfenstein. But right now the green one's, green one's doing pretty well. Connor asks, does anyone know if there is the Tomahawk? Yes. Nice. Uh, there are a few Tomahawks. I can actually, I'll, I'll go into the menu as soon as I get back into gameplay and show you some of the options for, for weapon stuff, because I probably have some points to spend. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Spin those points. In weapons, we've got melee stuff. So you've got all these different knives. Uh, you get a cool butterfly knife if you feel cool. like it. Uh, the, the actual knife from the Old Blood uh, spinoff. Oh, nice. And you get all these different types of hatchets, like a fire hatchet, uh, cyborg hatchet. You get the actual pipe from the Old Blood, too. Cool. So you got, you've got options there. They're, they're pretty good. Uh, I don't really have much to do here. I'm going to try to get a silencer on this, I think. Nice. Super stealth. Yeah, because I should, I should have some sort of stealth option. So that's a good call. Uh, and we do have character points, so I can get my dual wield on. And dual wield on. I'm going to boost my armor a bit. There we go. So we've got cool stealth pistols. We can sneak around a bit more. Uh, and we're in the, the open world part of the game. Nice. Getting a little bit of everything here. Yeah, so uh, we've got to find our way to uh, the like hideout that all of our, our resistance, French resistance friends are at. Hello? Hello? I, he's I like feel walking like over. He's, he's coming over to check, so I should probably pull out a shotgun or something. <gasps> oh, hi. I, I see you. <laughs> Sometimes game AI will never change. Oh, dang. I just want to mess with him a bit. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Where'd Wait, where'd he go? He's over there. <laughs> oh, dang. Ooh. I don't think I hit him. Oh, oh I did. Oh, nice. Perfect. See those skills, you guys? It's, a, it's those types of mid-air shots <laughs> that I sometimes hit. You can definitely count on some of the time. <laughs> Next gonna be 360 no scope. I'm gonna get like a like a trick shot controller from <laughs> a long time ago. Uh. Just point blank throw that thing right at that man. <laughs> Perfect. Stop Ooh. on him. I'm telling you, they need they, we need these girls in Apex. Yeah, right. Just give them all the all the suit abilities. As a just... duo too, like Ice Climbers and Smash, yeah. like they would be a combo pair. Alright, I'm getting, I'm getting getting two. <laughs> Asking for too much. We've got Mark 4 game devs. That has an inspirational chance. Uh, they could be in Quake Champions, though, because Quake, Ew. they seem to pull a lot of uh, characters from different Bethesda properties in. Oh, man, I love the chunks. Yeah. They, like, is great, especially if you're shooting someone with, like, a shotgun or something. You gotta but have the chunks. Shooting things just feels good in this game. <laughs> uh, big fan of it. I wish I had more ammo for this gun. Oh, let me let me use this. Yeah. Dang, you guys built this to use it, but you done messed up. <laughs> Didn't expect me to jump through the window. I don't need that. Shotgun's got a bit of range to it too. Uh oh We're good. We good. Everything's everything's fine. Level up. Double horns, we're good. 
so great. She puts such emphasis when she throws it out too. Yeah, I like I like the God, the animations are good. Just a real real fun time all around. Oh, these are the boys I'm looking for. Get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, if you are enjoying Wolfenstein Youngblood so far, it is available on PC, Switch, PS4, Xbox One, pretty much everywhere. So, and it's uh, you know, it's out now. It's also you guys uh, check it out. Uh, only like thirty dollars, which is even better. Nice. And it's got co-op mode, which, you know, I mentioned earlier. We need more co-op modes. So this is an interesting example of, like, a co-op door thing. So I have to wait for Jess to go and generate a code at a different area. Oh. So then, while she's on there, I can put in the code. Yeah, I can definitely see how some of these elements are more satisfying with someone else to play with you. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, right there, you're like, okay, I'm just going to stand here and wait for here the wait AI. For <laughs> there we go. Now we got grenades. Ooh. The Everything's game is coming changed. together. Heck yeah. All right, let's hit the chat and Ben with some with some trivia questions Ooh. here. All right, they're going to be probably pretty easy. But <laughs> All I'm right. going to knock at a single one. <laughs> I'm ready for it. What year did the first Wolfenstein come out? I, I don't have an exact year in my ding, head. Ding, I'm already stumped. Ding, ding, ding. It's uh, okay, I'm only using Wikipedia. Everyone at home's gonna cheat, but. <laughs> that's fine. So, if you get these answers right, then you definitely didn't cheat in your Wolfenstein Pro. So, well, people don't realize I have a, a second screen up somewhere with all the answers <laughs> on it. Um, I feel like I wanna say it's like early 80s, maybe late 70s. Very close. Yeah. Very warm. Closer I can't, I can't to your like first. That. Okay. First. Uh, you know, yeah. over the ladder. Let's see. Oh, someone in chat says 92. Crime says 87. So Chilled also says 87. Oh, snap. Well, according to Wikipedia, Castle, Castle Wolfenstein was released in 1981. There it is. Boom. You guys are close. I was definitely not, <laughs> not born in time to play that when it came out, but I remember <laughs> playing it when when it did come around. Some of you were close. Aquarius said 1950s. Well, that would have been kind of revolutionary. I'd, I'd like right? to be hearing about gaming in the 50s. That would be a <laughs> wild time. All right, let's see. Let's bust out some more. I don't want them all to be the years, even though those would be very easy, easy questions. <laughs> uh, let's see. Which Wolfenstein game introduced the first person shooter aspect? Oh, that's the first one. The first one? Are you sh Is that your final answer? It's the, uh, the Wolfenstein's the, the game that invented first person shooters. <laughs> I'm into it. Well, according to Wikipedia. Wait, let me read a little more before I get, and I'll let chat give us some answers also. You know a game's good when it's got locks that you gotta shoot off of doors. <laughs> oh yeah. Because well, in real life, that's what I would do if a door was locked. Yeah, it wouldn't like, be like, what do oh, I do? It's locked. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh snap! Bob Jones got it right. Wolfenstein 3D is actually the first Wolfenstein to introduce first-person shoot shooting. The other ones were like. Oh yeah. Old school, old school. You run around of rooms, like top down. I botched it. <laughs> I didn't play any of the uh, not first person shooter Wolfensteins. I can say that. Gotcha. Well, there was only two before that one, which was Castle Wolfenstein and then Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. Um, but Wolfenstein 3D is the game that's noted for popularizing the first person shooter genre as well. So, pretty cool. 
making waves. I stand to get some attachments for this gun. Zamajo asks, "Is this a true story?" And no, it's not. Although it would be pretty cool if we had all this technology. It actually might be kind of scary, right? In the wrong hands, this technology. Yeah, is I, I think the only problem with it is the the fact that Nazis have pretty much taken. Oh my God! It's a <laughs> Panzer Hund. Uh, Nazis have taken over the world, and I think that's just kind of led to it. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of, kind of not about the the Nazi takeover, but <laughs> technology is pretty rad. Yeah. You can get more room between me and that angry, angry pup. All right. Is someone up, up there? So what's going on with that? The good thing about fighting this stuff is if you fought them before, you kind of know where their weak point is. Oh, okay. So uh, for these guys, it's on the their back on the side. <laughs> so you shoot them right in the gas line, it blows up. Ah, yep. Downfall to mechanical There's always bosses. a flaw. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's smoking back here. It's very Ooh, quick at turning around, I know. Though. He is very nimble. So the, the other thing about playing co-op with someone is that they'll be able to uh, oh, distract. distract. Oh god, there you go. Ooh. He's going down though. Dang it, Jess! <laughs> I can't believe it, Jess. What are Come you on, doing? Jen. All right, here's the next pop quiz question. Hit it. This one's related to Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Okay. What is Agent One's real name? Oh shoot. Is, is that like a like a spoiler territory thing? Oh, I don't know. Thank you, Jess. It's like in the first line of this Wikipedia Ooh. thing, so I, I don't think it's a spoiler spoilery. Uh, I'll, I'll be <laughs> completely honest. I don't remember. I mean, I could also have this wrong. I'm just reading it. <laughs> Let's see if chat knows. Who knows Agent One's real name? Come on, chat. I believe in you. Almost there. It's almost dead. Oh yeah, armor's off. There we go. Easy. Just yeah. finally tanked it, and I was able to get in there and do the thing. Sleepy Maribo says, "Oh God, I don't remember." You see, I don't remember either. <laughs> I remember like breaking out of prison in that game, and I remember being like, "Oh sh shoot, it's the castle." <laughs> so Sheld says, "Steve, that is not Steve, his name." Steve's a good guess. I like it. I like where we're going. <laughs> Agent One. God, they really just keep coming out, don't they? And this is specifically the Old Blood. So Agent One in the Old Blood. What is his real name? All right, <laughs> Goop says, is it Tim Savage? Um, well, no one seems to have guessed it so far. I'm feeling kind of good about my questions there because yeah. <laughs> I've stumped you guys a few times already. Agent One, his real name in Wolfenstein the Old Blood is Richard Wesley. Classic Richard. <laughs> Scuba Steve. Yes. Yes. Whoop. Oh man. Oh nice shadow. Look at the way you're running. You see me you see me running through. <laughs> I don't have the key for that yet. We need the code. Give us the code. Oh, we got, got some, some 3D, 3D glasses. glasses. That 80s tech is on point. <laughs> it's all here. For real. That's awesome. Thanks, sis. Jess, where are you? <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, that's the other one I was shooting. I was like, oh man, it's really weird that he got like all of his health back. Let's see. Grab one of these. <laughs> waiting for Jess. Come on, Jess. It's always waiting for Jess, <laughs> all the time. 
Opening the door, waiting for Jess. Opening up the, the chest, waiting for Jess. <laughs> oh. Yep. Great time. Stomp on. Oh, that's some, uh, lots of armor. Yeah, that guy's. Uh, oh, what gun is she using? That like did a chunk. So you are supposed to use like specific uh, guns for different enemy types. Yeah. I just can't. How many guns can you hold at once? Uh, quite a few. It, it's it's definitely one of the older design games where like you get to carry your entire arsenal with you. Nice. I like that. <laughs> Never run out. Yeah. Alright, so now we get to go hang out in the catacombs and meet Ew. all of our cool friends. The catacombs. Ooh, cutscene. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so dorky. Yeah. It's so great. <laughs> and we got snacks and we got wine. Oh, this is great. Yeah, heck yeah. The wine is excellent with the chocolate. Cigarettes? Just everything. Oh my gosh, this woman's a horrible influence on these teenagers. It's just letting them run wild. <laughs> no, 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 no. You should put it down into your lungs like this. And, and she's teaches teaching them. them, I know. Here's how. No, no, you no, do like it. this. Gonna make it look smooth. But yeah, okay, I was like, if they don't cough, so fake. <laughs> The guys are nasty. I also like how they're doing all of this with their suits still on. <laughs> I decrypted fragments of stolen Nazi intel on the computer. Witness reports from Nazis who survived the encounter with Captain Blaskowitz. Piecing together the fragmented information, I deduced that he was looking for a place called Lab X. Lab X? Let's go. So edgy. Hold on, Jess. Only a privileged. A lot of stuff sounds like it's like a like a Saturday morning cartoon from the eighties. So like, <laughs> we've got to go save our dad from Lab X. <laughs> Who knows what goes on inside of Lab X? <laughs> Good thing we've got this handy bit of exposition that tells us exactly how to get to where we're going. That's what we got. May I have? General Lothar built the brothers to subdue and control Paris. An Uber commandant in each tower guards the keys to the main computers. If we take control over them, we can unlock oh, the entrance to Lab X. Yeah. <laughs> That's the realism. I know, that immediately, like, kill the Uber command and steal their Just keys. Just, like, got the me. Computers and Bob's your uncle. My uncle's name was Hubert. <laughs> Add an X to it, it makes it more cool. Oh, so it's Bob Jones. Sorry, that, that's, an ex, that's an expression Arthur and Kenneth use. I was only joking, of course I know. She said Bob's your uncle, and she's like, Bob is not my uncle. <laughs> Ooh, don't touch me. Well, that's for me. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, oops, you're being so, nice, my bad. I fear the brothers may be out of your depth. You have to train before you even dare to approach the tower. Fly! Good luck. Why would they do Let me know if you need any more cigarettes. Okay, girls? The person at the bar is just like minding their own business. I know, right? Keeping it nice and tidy. He was standing behind that board the whole time. <laughs> you think we're missing something? Like what? A snake in the grass. Can't you just enjoy life for a second, Jess? <laughs> They're great. Yeah. All right, so this is the, right. the hub that we get to hang around in. I like the safe yeah. safe place, safe house. Nice, nice. Get all of our, our quests and stuff. And cool. you got like a, Hello. you can actually play uh, the parody oh, nice. Wolfenstein game uh, from, don't hurt me. Uh, play the, 
the Wolfenstein game that That's they had really from cool. uh, New Colossus. So I won't do too much of this, but... Yeah. Well, if you guys are just tuning in, today's stream of Wolfenstein Youngblood is sponsored by MSI because we are currently playing on this amazing laptop from MSI, which is the GT76 Titan, which is powered by 9th Gen Intel Core i9 desktop CPU and is running the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080's graphics card. It also features a 4K panel. The CPU handles a stable overclock up to 5 gigahertz, and all threads can help multitasking without a hitch. It features a great cooling system, all with an exotic car-inspired design, and MSI is giving away a copy of Wolfenstein and Control with the purchase of the GT76 or any other MSI laptop featuring the NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics cards. So for more info on that, just check out the description or the pinned comment and don't miss out on getting some free games. Heck yeah. Grab that key. Yeah, I remember this style yeah. for sure back in the day. It was a great game and also a great Windows 98 screensaver. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I remember playing an old, old computer. Well, maybe not this one exactly, but like yeah. just that general style of running around. But uh, you, you get the idea. I, yeah, need to, yeah. I need to do this too much here. Quit out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that, that's all still in there. You can mess around with that. I'm going to run around and grab some of these, these new quests here. And I'm going to head back out. Reach the hospital. Add a journal. Take me away. You gotta rescue Marianne. Yeah, yeah. What's oh, down below? They're both down below. Uh, underground hideout. Hey. Hey. Oh, hi. Use the map and head out. Just go straight to the, the first one. Why not? Yeah. And the, the mission to, to rescue Marianne's right there. You can just do that on the way. Two birds, one stone. Heck yeah. So the uh, oh, cool. The open world structure at this point is we have to go and take out our, our access computers in these three towers. Mm. So we can find the, the, the way into Lab X. So at this point, it's kind of like, go and do what you want. <laughs> uh, which is an interesting, different take on how Wolfenstein usually works. Yeah, it's been a pretty common theme with recent games. The more open world, Ooh. non-linear. Another Panzerhund. <laughs> <laughs> the Panzer didn't suspect a thing. Didn't even know. Oh god, pull out the right gun. Everything's fine, they don't know I'm here. That didn't make any noise at all. They're totally okay. <laughs> nope, it made a sound. We're, we're in it now. I'm waiting for that, that thing to pop up. There it is. There we go. Get off of that. I also don't like these uh, these turrets up here. <laughs> yeah. They take a lot of damage. Oh, they're so strong. Jess is down. And now Jess is hurt. Jess, where'd you go? Oh, of course she's down. She's over here right next to the... <laughs> the thing I've been ah. trying to avoid. Jess, I swear. I still love that so much. It's so dorky and great. Oh my goodness. So, uh, the sound that these guns make, uh, top tier sound in all the video games. <laughs> I love it. 
more than most things. Seeing that panzer got melted. Yeah. Oh my god, Chess, oh, there's literally hurt. nothing around. I know. What, <laughs> what happened? Chess, please. Let's see. So funny. You got more ammo for this. Less ammo for that. I can jump over this. Probably hurt a little bit, but that's okay. All right, I have another trivia question for Ooh. you guys. I was reading, trying to formulate a good one here. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Wolfenstein The Old Blood is a loose remake of which Wolfenstein game? Return to Castle Wolfenstein is my guess. I'm gonna give the chat a second to answer. <laughs> oh, I'm not even trying to stealth anymore. I, I just threw it all out the window. <laughs> Crime says Nazi pulls alarm switch. Bin, no one heard it. <laughs> no, no one heard a thing. No one's any wiser. We're, we're, we're a okay. Oh, big boy. That's a laser man. Big boy laser man. That guy was just on the just bus. Just hiding out on the bus. <laughs> High ground. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, oh. Wow, he's smart. He backed up. That was a smart AI move right sure. there. <laughs> then he backed up right into a place where I could throw a grenade. All right, we are, we are getting some questions in. I mean, some answers in for our question. Crime also said re return to Castle Wolfenstein. Connor and So Chilled also say return. And everyone's correct. Heck ding, yeah, we've done ding, it. Ding. You guys got one. It's more satisfying when you guys get it right. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Good job, you guys. I'll return was a really good game. Uh, it was Rob and I were literally just talking about it yesterday. We're just like, oh man, remember Return to Castle Wolfenstein? It had a kick button. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, kick button. I'm curious if it still holds up. I want. I should probably try it out again. Heck yeah. Is this the one that has the ghosts in it? Uh oh. Uh, not, not that I've seen. I, I was talking about how I'm, I'm kind of sad that there aren't uh, like supernatural things really mm. in the, the new rebooted series, but... There we go. Oh no, I need the electric craft work to get in there. You can do this. <laughs> do this, dude. I should probably get like a like an ammo upgrade. Yeah. So I wonder if I do a quick in here. Increase my maximum health. It heals me. Cool. All nice. Right. Hacks. I'm into it. <laughs> Actually, maybe I can do the thing with ammo, too. Yeah. That would be nice. More ammo and looting enemies. Do you have any siblings? Cool. I do. I have a sister. Oh, snap. Like, I'm just watching this, and, you know, I have a, an older brother. But, you know, Jess and... Was the other girl's name Soph Sophie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're very they get along very well. I don't think I got along that well with my brother yeah. <laughs> growing up. We're great friends now, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we're way closer now as adults. But I think back when we were both kids, we were we were a little assholes to each other, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and like Jess and Soph have this awesome like sibling relationship. I'm kinda jealous. They're just like, hey, you've got this. They're super supportive and they're nice. And I just got shot across the entire zone. Woo. A silence pistol is not the best thing to be fighting a giant laser man with. <laughs> uh, grenade? Granada. 
She's fast. Thank you for that. I can't wait oh. to do that window. It's too small. <laughs> She's also a very small character herself, so the fact that she couldn't yeah, right? jump through that is unfortunate. The uh, the other thing that I really like that they do is they they'll actually uh, like there's a, a de like a detective book series that they both really oh, like, cool. or like a comic series, and they actually call each other like the two characters in it. Aww. Like they they give gave nicknames to each other for it. That's adorable. Yeah. They really did make them feel like sisters. I mean, besides the fact that they're twins. <laughs> yeah. They also look pretty different from being twins, just like hair hairstyle. And just general aesthetic, but they got the eyes, mm -hmm. the face. Uh oh. So this is the ah. hospital that we're supposed to be saving the person from. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that guy's healing him. Get out no, of here. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, and he has so much armor. Now you got him. You got I have no I... ammo. Jess, give me some ammo. <laughs> Let's do one of those. Love it! I, I actually think I have zero ammo for everything. Oh my gosh. He picked uh, up so many guns. Yeah. Gotta go steal his gun. <laughs> nice! Wow, it's like, it doesn't matter how much armor or anything they have. It, one hit kill. It's kind of weird. Sometimes it doesn't work out where it's a one hit kill, but other times it does. Oh. That guy showed up to the wrong place at the yeah. wrong time. You oh. looked underprepared. <laughs> All right. Is this game on a new engine? I think it's on the same one, at least just looking at it. I don't know for a fact, though. Hey, grab this, grab that. <laughs> Bob Jones says, maybe I just need to kill more Nazis while growing up together with my brother to have a better relationship. <laughs> yeah, I guess that'll it. do it, yeah. I still think that opening cutscene is probably one of my favorite cutscenes I've seen from any game. Yeah, it's real good. It's so, like, relatable. Like, that's probably how a normal person would react in that situation. I gotta find the stairs, that's what it is. Oh no, it's the it's the elevator shaft, literally right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's also very scary. Just in general, elevator shafts that are broken. Yeah. Ah. Hey, normal dude in your white collar tee. Don't Just think this trying is to hang out. <laughs> this is not the place for you. The uh, sounds that they all make. Oh man, that guy's so normal. Oh, I missed. Oh. I can't believe I whiffed it. Oh. Got him. Got him. Take your gun. Blam. Right in the glasses. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't want you to do the melee attack. Other times it's it's fine with it. Ooh. Say okay. Oh boy. Where they at, Jess? Dang, that poor scientist. I mean, I know he's a Nazi, but it's just like he's so, he seems so out of place yeah. firing a gun in a situation like this. All right, just gotta get down there. <laughs> Goop says, we built with City. Dang. I, you miss one axe throw on a live stream and it's just, with nothing's City. ever the same. Mm. Let me send you some armor, Ben. Oh yeah. Man, I, I'm really afraid of the dude who's throwing fire down the hallway, but it looks really pretty when he does. All right, shiny, go to the lights. Oh, hi. Oh. Dang. Get out of here. Spaceman. 
I like that all the like enemy names are like totally in German and stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Like, that'll be a good thing to have. All right. For real though, <laughs> you get back downstairs. There we go. Getting closer. Open this up. Oh, there's Marianne. Power down the surgery room so they can't operate. The power's <laughs> gone? What's this? Hey, you know we have those two giant generators in the room next door, right? Maybe <laughs> she goes like Oh, she hooked them up. <laughs> oh! But it's too late. Let's go, Marianne. Oh, got him. Headshot. Oh, double tap on the other dude, too. What a gangsta. Killing it. <laughs> see you in the catacombs. You got it. Take it easy. See, see you later. Miss you. That was like the most non rescue rescue I've ever seen. It was like, hey, yeah. just turn off the power. All right, I'll rescue myself from here on out. I just needed the power off. That's, that's fine, though. It works out. <laughs> we also cleared the path for her on her way out, too. Yeah. So. Everything, everything's all clear and set to go. Yeah. And now we can continue on our way to go and maybe hit this, uh, this tower. Yeah, we're going to steal the Enigma machine. Oh, there's an Enigma machine around. Oh, shoot. They've, they've brought <gasps> in back. more men. What's up, Melissa? Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Wolfenstein Young Blood, and today our stream's powered by MSI. We got about uh, ten or so minutes left of the broadcast, but oh, hope you guys have been enjoying the stream so far. Watching Ben tear it up. This went this went by so fast. Yeah, because it's, it's a beautiful game. It's having a good time playing yeah. Wolfenstein. <laughs> Between the cutscenes and the gameplay and. The little side things too. Pretty good time. Yeah. All right. You guys are all back out here. I'm not even gonna <laughs> mess with you. You can stay. You can stay here for as long as you want. I'm not gonna play any part of it. <laughs> I have things to do. Got places more to be. Places to be. <laughs> uh, but I should. Someone's throwing grenades. Uh, let's do that. Right. So we go that way. Gotta find the brothers. That away. Oh, there's a giant robot up there. <laughs> oh, dang. This is. Oh, dang. So I've realized. Uh, we're definitely here before we should be, and that all of these enemies have. Are very strong. Uh, they have skulls for their levels. Oh. Which means... They're too strong. Uh, we're coming in here before we should. Ooh. So we're going to have to run out. And... Oh. Uh, <laughs> kind of shove him out of the way. Jess is hurt. Dang it, Jess. Jess can catch up whenever she can. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> let, me, let me out the window. Oh, wait. Let me... Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> that was a very clean glass. Not entirely okay. <laughs> see-through, but yeah. <laughs> Still got the chat talking about your axe whip. <laughs> Damn, really? <laughs> that whole time? I love it. It, was, it wasn't even that big of a whip. <laughs> no, it was very close. It was so close we didn't even realize it was. My goodness, they're so beefy. Fuck yeah, Jess, you're slaying it. Thank you. <laughs> I then look over and she's like on fire. Oh, we got the robots in Get now. Get it together, Jess. Keep it up, sis. <laughs> Goob says they should rename this game to Jess is Hurt. <laughs> Jess needs help. Jess needs help. Dang oh, it, Jess. time. All right. Grab that. Thanks, dude. I do like that the game has a, literally just a dedicated, like, 
props button. <laughs> yeah. Like anytime you want to tell your, your pal they're doing well and also give them like a beneficial buff, Heck it's yeah. right there. Morale boost. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a man down here who's running away from me. That's fine. <laughs> Run. See if Run we can steal that enigma machine, I guess. Let's do some uh Oh, it's right here. I found it. It's happened. Oh, there's Jess again. <laughs> well, she's not she's an hurt enemy. this yeah. time. That's what counts. Oh, garbage trucks. So maybe, maybe I should go. Oh no, they're all all dangerous. Let's do chemical warfare. That's not too far off my level. Trying to get as much chemical warfare done in nine minutes as we can. So it's, a, it's a, a sprint to the end. <laughs> I believe. All right. I believe. Let's see. Let's think of a good quiz question for you guys. This place was named So I think we're going to be going into like a like a sewer hideout or something, mm, okay. which is going to be a thing. The sewer. You. Yeah, right. Getting real Shawshank in here already. Victory Boulevard. Oh, snap. Gotta get a house there. Heck yeah. Wait, it doesn't look that great. Never mind. <laughs> There's nothing left of that man. He is turbo dead. <laughs> Ugh. Name. Oh. He didn't want to get knocked down. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, I need to get a special wow, upgrade Wow, you frame. pushed him and you fell. That was great. <laughs> There's, you know, equal opposite force reactions, all of that. Oh, Jess just turned into a ghost. Oh, I'm literally running the opposite way I'm supposed to be. All right. Quiz question. I feel like this one's pretty good. Hit me with it. How many Wolfenstein games are there officially? Um, I'll say we can include Cyberpilot, even though I don't think that one is. Yes. Even though it's not like technically. It's it's a it's a VR game experience thing, I guess. I'm not I'm not chomping at the bit for it though. <laughs> so yes, including Cyberpilot, how many Wolfenstein games are there in total? I'll wait for chat to throw out some guesses. Uh, I'm gonna take just a random, just stab in the dark guess. I can try to like <laughs> add it up, but um, uh, it's maybe quite a bit. like I feel like 15, 16. Ooh, very warm. So chilled says six. <laughs> Crime says oof. <laughs> Your oof is, is right. <laughs> oof is correct. Whoa, hello. Did I just, I accidentally fell into where I was supposed to go. Nice. That works out I really like well. I like that. The game knew you're short on time. Goob says, without Googling, I'm going with nine. Uh, Crime says 12 to 13, and then he says 15. Ooh. So. I don't know if he adjusted because I said it, <laughs> but. <laughs> um. But yeah, the answer is 13. Heck yeah. 13 so Wolfenstein games. Castle Wolfenstein. Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein 3D. Oh wait, Spear of Destiny. That one doesn't have Wolfenstein in the name, but... Uh, let's see, let me read the description on this one. Set before the events of Wolfenstein 3D, the player assumes the role of William B.J. Blazkowicz. I said that wrong, didn't I? Who is well, set to? Last, last <laughs> you're, you're good. Okay, cool. Who is set to reclaim the Spear of Destiny from the Nazis? Okay, yeah, this is a, a Wolfenstein game. Um, so, Spear of Destiny returned to Castle Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein Enemy Territory. Oh, I love Wolfenstein enemy territory. RPG. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein The New Order. 
Wolfenstein the Old Blood, Wolfenstein 2 the New Colossus, Wolfenstein Young Blood, and then Wolfenstein Cyber Pilot. So there we go. I want to I wanna play enemy territory again. <laughs> that brought back some memories. Yeah. So it was a good time. It was a free game too, which is even better. Oh nice. Hey, I'm always a fan of some free games. Heck yeah. My dude, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> so hopefully this isn't like too much to try and like focus on cause I didn't realize we we're going in a place where it's just really dark. Yeah. It's fine, we've got a light on our gun. Yeah. I did like as soon as okay. we got down I bought the flashlight, but That, I just that. hear Jess getting hurt somewhere. <laughs> a, a far off like, distant ah! oof. <laughs> All right. Can I, can I make the jump across here? This is a very clean sewer, though, I will say. Yeah, right? The water was nice and crystal clear. I don't know if I can jump up there. No, I can't. I've made a mistake. <laughs> now we're just full on swimming in the sewer. You know, if you're gonna be in the sewer, you gotta like, I guess, <laughs> do the whole experience. All right, there's something over here I can grab. Oh, I gotta shoot the thing. I know what we're doing. Yeah. I, I recognize this. <laughs> and naturally, more enemies come out when you start tearing them down. As they do. Ah, just get my back. Oh, they put robots in the sewers! <laughs> no wonder this water you tastes to funny. Toss a grenade. Just toss a grenade into all those things yeah. down there. Ooh, permanent damage increase. Heck yeah. It's always satisfying. <laughs> Goob says, mmm, sewer juice. Ew! Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm alright. Maybe I gotta go up here and then around. Sewers are a dangerous place to try and navigate. Yeah. Even your mini map looks insane. Yeah, there are definite layers here. It's all this random stuff down here. It's like a tire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously some loot. Mm, okay, I can't oh. open that unless I have the, the weapon for it. That's that's good. <laughs> Things make sense down here. It's so dark. Yeah, uh, anytime I sprint, it just moves the flashlight away, so yeah. that's not the best option. No sprinting. Oh, this will probably nice. lead me somewhere, maybe. <laughs> Get your weak lock out of here. Shoot, how, how much time do we got left? We have two minutes. What? <laughs> what? Crime says, watch out for Splinter and the Ninja Turtles while yeah, you're down that's, there. Yeah, that's the real thing. <laughs> you know what, I might just get out of the sewers then. Go go back up and just run around and shoot, shoot a couple of things for the last two minutes. In a place where we can actually see. I know. It's like, you want to run so you can go faster, but then you can't see anything. It's like a... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Let's head, let's head back light. out. Let's, let's, let's get out of this, this gross area. <laughs> All right, stinking up our suits. Yeah, right? Back to yeah, Victory yeah. Boulevard, <laughs> where I belong. Back to Victory Boulevard. By the time this loads, it's gonna be it. Dang. <laughs> well, let's climb up here yeah, so we can, we can see. There we go. Oh, fresh air. We made it out. We, yep. we got out of the, the, the sewers. We're back in the city, and uh, if you guys want to see more of where these two twins go, <laughs> there's only one way to do it. You gotta play exactly. Wolfenstein. You Young gotta Blood. get it. You gotta play it. And today we played all of our Wolfenstein Young Blood gameplay on the MSI um, MSI's GT 
76 Titan laptop. This beautiful beast here, um, you know, in case you missed it earlier, uh, it's a pretty powerful laptop. It's powered by 9th gen Intel Core i9 desktop CPU and is running the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080's graphics card. It also features a 4K panel. The CPU handles a stable overclock of up to 5 gigahertz and all threads can help multitasking without a hitch. It features a great cool system all with an exotic car inspired design and MSI is giving away a copy of Wolfenstein and Control with a purchase of the GT76 or any other MSI, MSI laptop featuring the NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics cards. So if you want to take advantage of that just go ahead and check out the description below or the pinned comment because it's going to give you all the deets on getting those free games with your purchase and of course today's entire stream was brought to you by msi so thank you msi for allowing us to play this amazing game you know we only got to see a little bit of the story so far but it was beautiful and yeah. gorgeous great game obviously a great laptop to play the game on so just thanks all around to MSI, to Ben well, for holding you. it down with gameplay and to chat, you know? We went, I think, one in four on the trivia questions, but it's okay. We love you anyway. We'll get them next time. <laughs> exactly. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And uh, it's Friday, so have a good one and have a great weekend. Bye. Goodbye.